Hello ladies and gentlemen, PG Mining 10 here with another mod tutorial. And most of you guys are probably wondering, hey, I have the FTB mod pack, which as you can see is what I'm running. FTB launcher right here. I do have a custom image though, so in case you guys were wondering, that's what that is. But anyways, most of you guys are probably wondering, am I getting the most out of my FTB mod pack? Well, the answer to that may be yes, and it may be no. So let's go ahead and check out how to change your config files for the Portal Gun mod. So let's not gub. Alright, so Portal Gun, we're just going to go ahead and launch that. But I'm first off going to go ahead and show you um, what you can do to actually get more out of your Portal Gun mod. And what you're going to have to do is just go ahead and go into your file, or wherever you have all of your FTB um, stuff saved. So if you did open this FTB launcher on your desktop... All of this will be on your desktop, but if you did, as I recommend, open this jar, or .jar in a folder, then you have no problem. Now, also, you could have a .exe if you're running on Windows. But anyways, let's go ahead and open our FTB folder. And as you can see, we have it open. So now let's go into FTB beta. So there we go. Now let's open um, Minecraft. Then, used to how you would actually change the config for this mod is not in options. I misclicked. Sorry about that. You'd go into mods and then go into portal gun. But, whoa, where where did the config file go? Well, it's not actually in there anymore. They, um, I guess all the mod developers got together somehow, and they put it in the Minecraft config. So let's go ahead and go back over how we got here. So FTB beta, and then go into Minecraft, then go to config. So now all you have to do is, say you start at the top, scroll down a little bit until you get to the P's, and hey, there's portalgun.properties. I remember that. Um, it should be the same, right? Well, n kind of. So as you can see, let's just scroll down a little bit um, until we can find the see-through portal. So as you can see, see-through portals is right here. Now it says, can you see through portals? Um, zero equals no, one equals yes, and two equals static image. Um, portal renders only on uh, one time and no longer update. No. Certain Intel cards can only uh, cannot support see-through portals for people with these cards. See-through portals do er, do not occur regardless of settings. So obviously, um, this does depend on your Intel card or AMD card. It just depends on your card. But if you do want to try this out and see if it does work, um, this is going to definitely be for you. So what I'm going to do is pull a portal gun out. And first off, let's find a 2x2 two two area to launch this. So sweet, we found a tree. That's pretty good. So let's launch the left portal and then the right. Whoa, we have a lighting bug over here. But anyways, as you can see, the portal gun is actually off. So I did set it to off by setting it to zero. So that is cool. You can't actually see it through the portal right now. But let's go in here and see it says zero equals no. But if you scroll down, you will be able to see that it actually says one. So let's scroll down a little bit and... Let's see, just scroll down a little bit, and you will get to all these random numbers. Whoa there, what do we do here? Alright, so as you can see, see-through portals is set to 1. Now, why can't you see it on mine? Well, the reason you can't see through them on mine is because I went back and changed this back after I turned them off. So I did want to show you how it would actually look. So right now, mine is actually like this, and you guys just can't tell. So this is what yours is going to start off with, is a 1. So there you go. So I'm not going to confuse you guys. This right here is what you'll start off with, or off with most likely. But if you do want to turn your portals off, just go ahead and set this to 0. And go ahead and just save that. So now you will end up with these portals. So as you can see, our portals are completely solid um, color. But as you can tell, they do change with the day, which is pretty cool. Let's turn that off. And as you can see, now they are dark. So that is sweet. But say you do want to see through portals, and um, your computer is not doing them on its own. So here's how you do this. Go back to your um, see-through portals, which is right here. And now you can just go ahead and set that to 1, and then just press Command Save, or Save, depending on what you're on, using Notepad, all of that. So let's go ahead and open up the FTB Launcher. And let's go on back. Actually, I do have a shortcut, which is... Pretty cool. I did include my custom image in case you guys um, didn't hear me earlier when I said that. Let's go ahead and launch this. But also, I'd like to show you the other um, setting that you can actually use while um, Forge Mod Loader is loading. So as you can see, let's scroll down a little bit. Uh-oh, we need to scroll up, actually. Sorry about that. Until you can see see-through portals and static image. Now you're wondering, what is static image mean in um, means of the portal gun? Well, it means exactly what it says really it basically takes a picture of your surroundings as soon as you launch the second portal and it will show only that image so that means your image does not move and it's much less uh, less um, dependent on your graphics card and your processor so 
if you guys do have one of the lower end gaming computers, you would probably want to do that. And say if you're on a laptop, most likely you'd want to do that, like I am here. So that would be a great idea to do. So as you can see, now our portal is now open. So this is how most of you guys will start off. But I did show you how to turn it off, and I showed you what it looked like when it was off. So that was pretty cool. So now I'm going to show you guys what it would look like when it is on the third setting. So the third setting is actually two because the original setting is actually zero. So let's go ahead and find it again, which see-through portals. Now let's set this to two. So there we go. So now what we can do is just press Command Save, or you could go um, File Save if you'd like. Let's go ahead and do that just so I can show you it does work like that as well. And now you just go ahead and exit. No longer will you need it anymore. Uh, let's open up FTV Launcher once more. And just go ahead and hit the launch button. So everything is very simple within this mod. Um, I really love the FTB mod pack and the simplicity of it. Um, now for those of you that are using the Technic Launcher, it is the same. You just need to go into Technic um, Launcher, then go to Technic SSP, and then go into the Mods folder, and then the Find the Portal Gun folder, which would look just like... Actually, no, it wouldn't. You would go into the mods folder or folder within the Technic SSP and just find this folder right here. Now your config would be inside of that folder. So anyways, that's just how you do it on the Technic Launcher. But anyways, most of you guys probably are on the FTB mod pack, which is sweet, by the way. So now let's go ahead and launch the portal gun once more. Now keep in mind that the the portal gun might have to reset. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Yep, it did. So that is sweet. It did reset itself and we did not have to tell it to. Let's go ahead and turn this off. I don't really like the fancy lighting, guys. Um, I'm not sure why. I just like the um, normal lighting. But anyways, let's go ahead and launch this portal. Now, as you can see, it is a static image of just the normal color of the portal. Now, you guys do know it does launch the image once you actually launch the second portal. So as you can see, it does just take a picture, and it does not move. So that is setting number two. So if you would like a less graphic-intensive um, config, what you want to do is do two, but if you do like the awesome where you can see through the portals, go ahead and do one, and if you want the really, um, less graphic intensive, just go ahead and do zero, but two is basically equivalent to zero since it's only rendering it once and it's just taking the picture, but if you are doing one, which is the see-through portals 100%, that is really graphic intensive because it basically has to render your entire world twice, so anyways, Thank you guys for watching. This has been a quick little tutorial on how to install, or not actually install, but change config files and get the most out of the Portal Gun mod. So, thank you guys for watching. This has been PG Mining 10. And go ahead and see the, any mod news, any tutorials, anything you guys would like. Please do hit the like button as well as the subscribe button. You can also leave a comment down below. I will get all of the videos out that you guys would like. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. This has been PG Mining 10, and I will see you next tutorial. Peace.